So we have several updates with the Epstein story that need to be talked about. The first I'll get to at the end of the video, and that is that a coroner hired by Epstein's family says that the injuries that Epstein suffered are actually conducive to a murder and not a suicide. I'll get to that at the end of the video. And the second is a video that Project Veritas put out today, and that shows on a high, hot mic, ABC News anchor Amy Roebuck admitting several things. The first thing she admits is that three years ago she had actually interviewed one of Epstein's victims and wanted to run this story that uh, would connect people like Bill Clinton, that would connect all sorts of people like uh, Prince Andrew, and it would also connect have evidence of Ghislaine Maxwell and her crimes. But that story was buried by higher-ups at ABC. She doesn't say exactly who buried it, but she's very frustrated on this hot mic that the story is now coming out when she wanted to report this three years ago, but her network wouldn't allow her. That's going to be damning because this shows that at the same time that places like ABC were pushing all of the Me Too arguments saying, oh, we need to protect women, we need to start taking the abuse of women seriously, they were running cover for a pedophile that's connected to the world's elites. This isn't a partisan issue, by the way. They were connected to people that were conservative and liberal, both in the United States and around the world. We know Prince Andrew was connected. We know Bill Clinton was connected. We know that scientists were connected. We know that all sorts of people were accepting money from Epstein. We also know that people were going to his house, like journalists like Katie Couric and others. And so it's not a partisan issue. It's an important issue and one of the most important that we could talk about because, one, it is the absolute most heinous crime that someone could commit, pedophilia, the endangering of children. That's what our purpose in life is, to make sure that children go through with a happy life and are protected and then can carry on with the next generation. If we fail to protect these children or we cover up for abuses from them, that's one of the most disgusting things that could happen. And the other thing is, not only is it the most disgusting crime, but it's being engaged in by some of the most powerful people in the world. So people that have been contact or connected to this include Prince Andrew, Bill Clinton. Roback herself says that she was in fact pressured by people like Alan Dershowitz, who was a lawyer for Epstein, and was pressured by the royal family in the UK that pressured the ABC to not run this story because Prince Andrew was connected. These are huge revelations. Remember, at the same time this is going on, the media is doing everything in their power to go after Donald Trump as supposedly being uh, an aggressor towards women. They're go going forth with the Me Too movement, saying that we need to take abuse against women seriously. They're talking about Bill Cosby. Uh, they're talking about Louis C.K. and other people. Yet when all these people connected, not just in the media, but high-ranking politicians and others around the world are connected to the most heinous of crimes, sexual trafficking of children... They bury the story into it. That shows that these people are lying. And to this day, they control the narrative and they're not covering the fact that it's clear that Epstein didn't commit suicide. So we should stop taking our cues from the media and discuss things ourselves, which is why platforms like online people like me and others that are talking about this and places like Twitter are very important. The second thing she says, uh, Roback admits she doesn't feel that Epstein did kill himself. Now, that's going to be huge because she's saying, look, I had this story. ABC buried it. Now, I just don't believe that Epstein murdered himself. And yet she's not reporting on it. No one at ABC or CBS or NBC or the New York Times or the Washington Post or CNN. No one's reporting on this. Not even Fox. This just goes to show that people are more concerned with protecting the most heinous of criminals if they think that there could be blowback on people that they like. In other words, the media won't talk about this because it could be connected to prominent Democrats or prominent establishment people on both sides or to the royal family. Therefore, the media, all of a sudden, their bleeding heart for victims and for children, all of a sudden it goes away. This is just like I talked about with the LeBron James situation with China. All of these people are moral crusaders that think that they're better than you. But as soon as some of their skin's in the game, as soon as there could be negative blowback on them, all of a sudden they don't care about victims. And so the fact that we know that Amy Roback now, because of this hot mic, feels that Epstein murdered himself or didn't murder himself or didn't commit suicide, that shows that this is, a, again, it's something we all knew, that this story was obvious he didn't kill himself, but it, clearly there are people in the mainstream that feel that way also. The reason they're not talking about it is because they're being instructed to not talk about it or they're fearful that it'll cost them a job. Now, the other story, which I didn't cover, but I'll get to real quick from last week, was that these, this coroner, a famous coroner that's well-respected, was hired by Epstein's family, and he says that the injuries Epstein sustained are conducive to murder and not suicide. I've been saying this all along, as of many people that I've seen online. 
It is clear that Epstein didn't commit suicide. What you would have to believe to believe that is incredible. You would have to believe that supposedly he tried to kill himself once, that the people at the jail put him on suicide watch, but for no reason decided to take him off a mere weeks after he was put on it, that they had two inept guards that both fell asleep that were the only two that were watching Epstein at this time, that they didn't have any cameras on the inside of his cell, and most incredibly, that the cameras that are outside of his cell, which they admit were there, at least two of them, both malfunctioned at the exact same time. Now, you can go back and look at my videos from late August. I said that this is exactly what would happen. People would just spread these unbelievable lies, the media, all the people in the mainstream that control the narrative, and they would expect us to accept them and then just bury it and stop talking about it, which is why we need to keep it trending that Epstein didn't kill himself. What are the implications of this? The fact that the FBI, what did I say? Everyone's like, oh, the FBI will get to the bottom of it. Of course not. I said, why would anyone want to come out and testify against these powerful people if Epstein, while he's in federal custody, they couldn't protect him and he was murdered? This means no one will want to come forward because they'll rightfully fear their lives would be in danger. And we can see now that the very people that are investigating, they told us, oh no, it's all suicide. Yet a credible coroner says, no, these injuries aren't consistent with suicide whatsoever. Now, who are you going to believe? The side that says, oh, guards fell asleep, cameras malfunctioned, we didn't have this person on suicide watch, even though they attempted to kill themselves weeks earlier? Or the side that shows, no, this isn't consistent with the suicide at all. If this is being covered up, it's being done by the most powerful people. And again, I'm not making this as a partisan point. I know that Republicans, Democrats, people on the left, right, people in the United States and outside have all been connected to Epstein. That doesn't mean everyone connected is guilty, but it's certainly worth investigating because this crime's so heinous. And the fact that our media and our political class are doing everything they can to bury this story shows what monsters they are and that they feel, even if they're not guilty, they feel that this could somehow upset the apple cart and upset the establishment, which is their greatest fear. So we need to keep this trending. We need to hold the investigators accountable. I don't care if it's Republicans, if it's Democrats. These people need to be held accountable. This is the most heinous of crimes. So check out the video from Project Veritas, I'll link below, where Amy Robeck admits that they had this story three years ago, but it was decided to be pulled by the top brass at ABC. It just goes to show they're all engaged in this cover-up. Hey, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. I'll be trying to put more videos out daily. Uh, please recommend my videos to some other people. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks, everyone, and have a good one.